It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, some things we may or may not see by then. Apple's rumors for the October 16th date and fraudulent activity is on the rise. A better way to credit card. All that coming up. Hi, and welcome to Tech Nation TV. My name's Rusty G, and this is your tech news for Friday, October the 10th. It looks like Amazon will have something for us by Christmas, and that something is a pretty big something. It looks like they're going to have a brick and mortar store down on 34th Avenue. You know, Miracle on 34th Avenue down in Manhattan. Y you know, right? You know. Anyway, it looks like they're going to have a brick and mortar store for us. And as some of the reports are saying, it's going to be more like a post office, not so much a store that you can get everything that Amazon offers, because obviously Amazon is like the online Walmart, but better because you don't have to. Well, you you can go to Amazon in pajamas, but most people don't like seeing other people in their pajamas. But either way, uh, Amazon will be testing this out and hopefully maybe in the future, kind of like Apple started out with one store and just kind of build on from there. We shall see. But Amazon is going to be probably just showcasing their Amazon Fire TV, their Amazon tablets, all that jazz. And more of a you know shipment place for one day deliveries there in the New York area. So uh, I hope that Amazon does flourish with the brick and mortar because you know Amazon does offer a lot. Something we will not be seeing by Christmas is the iPad Maxi Pad 12 inch thing. And I use Maxi Pad because that joke's been around quite a while. But anyway, it's the iPad rumored 12 inch thing that we were talking about. Currently, it's at the 9.5 inch diagonal, basically a 10 inch tablet. But because of the popularity of the iPhone 6 Plus, the rumored iPad Maxi or 12 inch, whatever you want to call it, has been delayed. So it looks like the October 16th you know, thing that we're waiting for around the corner. It looks like that's going to be delayed because, you know, everybody actually wanted to try out the new big 5.5 inch phone. So a lot of the suppliers are having problems keeping up with the demand. And some people even got their release date email that said they will not receive their iPhone 6 Plus until November. I had someone in my office order one and it said like November 17th, I had to laugh. You know, even Apple wasn't expecting that much you know, uh, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I have a 5.7 inch Note 3. A lot of people like these big phones. So the fact that Apple was surprised by this absolutely makes me laugh. Continuing on in Apple news, the October 16th event that has been announced. Apple has a tagline. It's been way too long. Now this has brought up many speculated rumors. A lot of different things are out there. Products that have been, oh say, long in the tooth. One of the longest at over a thousand days is a Thunderbolt display. Now, is this something that big that they would make an announcement just for that? Typically not. Usually that's withheld as an addition to like WWDC or even some of their other events out there that they do, but typically not. I mean, September usually was the month for the update to the iPods. And that's another product that's long in the tooth is you know, an update to the iPods. We really haven't seen one in a long time. But one that is curious that has been a long-awaited update is the Apple TV. This is running over 900 days since the last update. Now, because of the biography by Steve Jobs, he talked about how we had cracked the code. Now, was he talking about updates that were running to the Apple TV puck that is currently what we have? Or had he actually done it with software and was just waiting for a manufacturer that would build TVs specific to Apple? We don't know. The details are obviously fuzzy, and we won't know anything until October 16th. So until then, all the rumors are out there. Is it new iPods? Is it a new iMac? The iMac is also running late. So we'll see what happens next week. And with all the fraudulent activity going on, and the latest being AT&T talking about their breach that happened in August, Obviously, everyone's worried about their credit cards and what happens to them. And a lot of us usually only carry one to five credit cards. Myself, I only carry three. Uh, one, my bank card. One being my Google card. And then one being the simple card or soft card, I think is what it's called now, that Samsung and uh, Walgreens and a lot of people backed up. And basically being able to pay with NFC is kind of cool. But the problem is you pretty much file that credit card if you have one into a lot of different places, especially if you prepay your bills or anything like that, especially with Amazon one-click purchasing, iTunes one-click purchasing. If that ever gets cracked, well, you lose that card and you have to order a new one and you have to wait and then, you know, update everybody with a new credit card. Well, Final looks to be, you know, curing that problem with their card. Basically, this is a card that has a billion numbers that they 
you know, claim that they can create for you so that each individual website gets a brand new number every time you sign in. So basically, if I shop at Amazon, they get a card number. If I shop at Best Buy, they get a card number. And if I shop at Home Depot, they get a card number. Everybody gets a different card number. That way, if that one website goes down and gets breached, then you don't have to worry about it. And automatically, Final will create a new number and give them a new number. That way, you don't have to worry about canceling your card. How amazing is that? Now, we talked about Plastic earlier, P-L-A-S-T-C who was basically cramming everything they could into one card. So I'd love to see a battle between Plastic and this new Final card. Now, Final is being, you know, touted as your last card because it basically generates a new number for every single one. So either way, I want to see the battle and I may end up purchasing both Plastic and Final and seeing which one works the best. That's been your tech news for Friday, October the 10th. My name's Rusty G. And if there's anything you'd like to hear about or anything you'd like to see, make sure you leave a comment below and you can find us on all the social media websites. Start out right here on this website. It's youtube.com slash TV. You can subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, share it if you like. If you're on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash TV. You can like us, share the video there just as well. If you're on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash TV. You can follow us there, retweet, favorite our you know videos if you so choose. And if you're on G+, it's gplus.to slash TV. Pretty much everything there. Plus, want to share us, like us, do whatever you can there just to share the wealth. Add us to your circles. We will add you back. And for all things TextNation, it's textnation.tv. We will see you in the next video.